Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Members of the House, thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, and I, uh, I'm delighted and proud to be here to extend my own personal welcome to Sean Dooley and to Cece and to their family. Uh, every time uh, in the last couple of years that I have been uh, introduced formally into the House, one of the members who sits uh, or uh, makes his way to the back always says to me as I come in, welcome to the people's house. And, uh, and it's a, uh, yeah, I'm talking about you. And it, it, is a, uh, it is an apt and important description of the work of this body and, frankly, the attitude of this body. And in that spirit, I very warmly welcome you, Sean, and I invite you forward to come and take the oath. Mom and Dad, do you guys want to come up as well? You don't mind. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes, sir. Raise your right hand. I, Sean Dooley. I, Sean Dooley. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Sean Dooley. I, Sean Dooley. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent on me. All the duties incumbent on me. As a member of the Massachusetts House of Representatives. As a member of the Massachusetts House of Representatives. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of the Constitution and the laws of this Commonwealth. Of the Constitution of the laws of this Commonwealth. So help me God. So help me God. I, Sean Dooley. I, Sean Dooley, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Representative, welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May now my honor to introduce our newly elected state representative. Sean Dooley for the purpose of giving his opening remarks. Representative Dooley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And through you, Mr. Speaker, to the representatives. And thank you, Mr. Leader. Pretty heady stuff. Um, so it's, it's amazing to be here. Uh, I'm not much of an orator, but I will give it a shot. Just wanted to take a few minutes to thank everyone who has helped me reach this goal of becoming a state representative. First and foremost, my wife, Cece. She truly is my partner. She truly is my partner in everything I do and always has my back. I could have never have tempted this journey without her love and support. A huge thank you to my children, Caroline, Emma, Jack, and William. They are the reason for everything I do. They are one of the driving forces that drove me to run for this office to help ensure a better Massachusetts and a better nation for them to grow up in. To my father, who has served 30 years on active duty in the United States Navy and taught me the meaning of public service, and to my mother, who kept the home fires burning all those years while he was out to sea, always there beside me, she taught me the true meaning of selflessness and sacrifice. To my in-laws, Nancy for keeping me focused and Stu for his commitment, 
On election day, my father-in-law had a heart attack, went in for emergency surgery, and when he came out of anesthesia, first thing he asked for was his phone so he could begin calling all of his friends to make sure they got out to the polls and vote. How can you lose with support like that? And to all my friends who are here, and those who couldn't make it today but are here in spirit, I have been humbled by your faith in me, and I will endeavor to earn that trust each and every day. The theme of my campaign was putting people before politics, and that will be, continue to be the mantra of my office in this illustrious building. Putting the needs of all people first is the only way we can truly serve. Not just picking people with special interests and lobbyists, not just those belonging to my party, not picking and choosing based upon a person's heritage or socioeconomic status, but by putting what is right for the Commonwealth as a whole, first and foremost. I truly believe that a rising tide raises all boats. And in that spirit, I'd like to read an excerpt from President Kennedy's City Upon a Hill speech that he gave before this very body 53 years ago this month. I believe his words speak even louder today than they did back in 1961. History will not judge our endeavors, and a government cannot be selected merely on the basis of color or creed or even party affiliation. Neither will competence and loyalty and stature, while essential to the utmost, suffice in times such as these. For of those to whom much is given, much is required. And when at some future date the High Court of History sits in judgment of each one of us, recording whether in our brief span of service we fulfilled our responsibilities to the state, our success or failure in whatever office we may hold will be measured by answers to these four questions. First, were we truly men of courage? With the courage to stand up to one's enemies and the courage to stand up when necessary to one's associates, the courage to resist public pressure as well as private greed. Secondly, were we truly men of judgment with perceptive judgment of the future as well as the past, of our own mistakes, as well as the mistakes of others, with enough wisdom to know what we did not know and the candor to admit it. Third, were we truly men of integrity, men who never ran out on either the principles which they believed or the people who believed in them, men who believed in us, men whom neither financial gain nor political ambition could ever divert from the fulfillment of our sacred trust. Finally, were we truly men of dedication, with an honor mortgaged to no single individual or group, and comprised by no private obligation or aim, but devoted solely to serving the public good and the national interest? Courage, judgment, integrity, dedication. These are the historic qualities of the Bay Colony and the Bay State, the qualities which this state has consistently sent to this chamber on Beacon Hill, Beacon Hill here in Boston and to Capitol Hill back in Washington. And in the spirit of both President Kennedy and Governor Winthrop, I look forward to serving this historic body and working as we continue to build a city upon a hill for all the world to see. Truly, the eyes of all people are upon us, and we have the duty to lead, as the people of Massachusetts have done for nearly 400 years. Our Commonwealth should not only serve as a beacon of hope, but the very definition of liberty. Let us embrace our destiny and prove to our nation what greatness can be when we stand united together. And finally, let me thank the, great, thank the people of the great state of Massachusetts for allowing me to serve. This is truly an honor, and I will not let you down. Thank you very much.